welcome back again for another lesson about essential uses of triads and this time we're going to talk about combining three notes <clears throat> we're actually doing more or less like scale patterns as well as triads and mixing those together uh, to give you more of a legato effect and a more flowing effect with your lines now um, we're going to still going to stick with G major and there are examples in the PDF uh, attached to this lesson and, and basically what you want to do it's not a really long lesson because uh, if you're familiar with the modes and you're familiar with those those shapes, uh, modes meaning like those three string, you know, three notes per string kind of patterns, these kind of fit along, um, fit in very well with that. So what you're doing essentially is you're doing, you're starting off on like, um, let's stick with G major. So you're starting off, you know, G. And you're gonna do like three notes. You're gonna do G, B, and uh, G, A, and B. And then you're gonna connect it. And then the next string you're gonna do three notes. So it's like three notes, one note, three notes, one note. Now this uh, lends itself very nicely to going out and doing other, you know, <clears throat> other ideas um, involving legato and combining these lines together, as well as you know shifting these these patterns too. You can so you can shift them up and down. Now you can also do. Three notes, one note, and, and I'm sorry. Three notes, one note, two notes. So essentially you're doing like the beginning of the scale, and then you're doing a D major triad after that. And then what I do is I usually rebound and go down a string and then do the same pattern. So So uh, what you wind up having is and then you can kind of come down and do um, these descending patterns which are kind of nice. It's basically stacking uh, triads, three string triads on top of each other and what it winds up doing. Uh, for me the fingering's different um, on the PDF file. Uh, they're written out in, in standard tuning. So, but but for me, it's um, like usually starting off on a um, uh, a triad shape on top, and then coming down a three-string triad shape, and then using my fourth finger to bridge it, do another three-string or another two-string, then three-string. So you get this. So uh, that, th those are just um, some real simple ways to move triad shapes around. Um, I really particularly like doing this more. You know, then I can kind of do a little bouncing around in there. So um, you know, try working with those ideas. Uh, and check out the ideas on the PDF file. Message me if you have any questions about anything. Uh, <clears throat> so, I mean, those are just conceptual ideas, um, but try the examples out. Try them in your own playing, in your own improvisation. Like I said, start slow. Um, and that's the best, best uh, advice I can give you with that. So, until next time, stay true, stay on fire.